I've just finished editing the video that you're about to watch and yeah, I'm planning to do major things on the website again. All right, let's get into it. If you've used React Router before, maybe you've encountered this issue and I'm gonna show you the solution today. So um, the problem is, if you scroll all the way down to some certain part of your website and then navigate to another page in your router, then this other page that opens is gonna be scrolled down automatically because React Router retains the scroll position even if you navigate to a different component in your website. There are several solutions to this. The first thing that came to my mind when I was taking a look at this issue was to go into the component that I navigate into when I click the link. In, in this case, we're navigating from the home page to the blog page. And then in the use effect hook in the blog page, I thought maybe I should add this thing in here, window.scroll to the top, right? Okay, well, that kind of fixes the issue. So if you if you go back to the homepage, scroll down, and then go to the blog again, we're at the top, yes. But then, let's say I'm gonna click this dark mode toggle. The page scrolls up to the top again because the component unmounts, the state changes, all the CSS changes on this page, and many things change, right? And the use effect hook runs again because we just unmounted and mounted the component again. So we know that this partially fixes the problem but introduces another bug in the meanwhile and i was wondering what the better solution to this thing was and i started looking online the first solution that i saw was um this here you can see the router is taking a history object here and this history object is like simply this code basically um it uses something called create browser history and then creates the history object, then starts listening to the changes in history. And then you can do whatever you want. Like, let's say you've changed from one page to another page in your website, then you can um, put window.location00 in here and it will scroll you up to the top again. And this seemed like a very elegant solution. All you had to do was to add history in here and then window.00 in here, and then it would just fix the problem by itself, right? Yes, this is a very nice solution. However, um, this means you need to use another library called create browser history, which I've explored the option of, but it added 10 more kilobytes to my website and it's not really worth having 10 extra kilobytes for something like this. So I was looking for another solution and then I found this thing. I've learned that um, React Router passes something called a history object down to its children and you can pretty much get this property in here and then you can start listening to the history just like you would on on um, this one right here okay so you can listen to the history and then you can scroll the window up to the top and as soon as the component amounts you can unlisten and I, I was wondering what uh, this unlisten function in here was so I was doing some research on what this thing is and apparently when you listen to the history it returns you a function that you can call to stop listening which is very counterintuitive if you ask my opinion but there should be a better way to do this but whatever. So if you call the unlisten function it will stop listening. History.listen returns a function and if you call that function it stops listening to the history. Okay, well, I hope you got that. You can read more about how the history API works in here. It gives you a bunch of things like location, action, length, um, everything that's related with back and forward buttons and the links on of the pages. All right, so there's, there's another added benefit that comes with this location parameter in here. It will allow you to track users when they're switching between links, right? And that's what I'm planning to do in one of my other videos. I'm gonna use this thing that I'm just gonna add today to um, emit metrics for Firebase. And then I'm going to be able to understand where my users are clicking the links from, which is great. Okay, so let's get started with the implementation. It's nothing really special, so I'm pretty much just going to copy all of these things. Okay, so in here, I'm going to create a new file. Um, let's call this page navigation listener. Okay. Okay, page navigation listener utils.jsx um, and let me rename this component page navigation listener. Okay, so we have a page navigation listener there. Let's clean up this file a little bit. Basically, when the page when, when a page navigation occurs, it's going to scroll us up to the top. But we still need to add this to our um, React router, obviously. So what I'm going to do is go back to my React router in here and just under the browser router, I'm just gonna add this component. 
All right, let's try to import this thing manually then. Import um, page navigation tools, um, page navigation listener. Okay, cool. And let's go back to the blog. Clicking the dark mode toggle shouldn't scroll me up to the top anymore. But if you go back to the main page, the home page, and if I scroll down and click the blog, I should be scrolled up to the top. And that's it. This is this is the solution. Um, it's not as elegant as the first solution that I've shown you here. I mean, this solution is cleaner because it doesn't um, require you to add another component under your React router. You just give it a history property in here, and it and this this thing takes care of it automatically for you. Um, but it's not as bad that I would trade off 10 kilobytes for it. I like the solution and it seems to be working fine. Um, I just need to add a string here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. In one of my next videos, I'm planning to add some Firebase related stuff in here so I can track users coming from, from a link and going to a certain link because in the history parameter, you have certain things like location and like go back, go forward. If you have those things, that means you have access to the user's full history of where they have browsed on your website. So I can pack all of those things and send it as analytics to Firebase and I can like try to understand where my users are coming and going. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you found this useful. As I said, I have some huge things planned for this animation right here. And um, so that's one of the bugs that I wanted to fix before starting that work. And now we are ready. All right, I'll see you in the next one.